Hi, you're very welcome. Today we're going to talk to you about our Oka, give you an update on that. And uh, this is it right now in its form. And then if you look at the leaves, they kind of look like a gigantic shamrock. Um, what we did with these was we simply put a little bit of potato uh, fertilizer down there, high in potassium and, uh, and phosphate. You can just mow it over then. Um, that's what we did. We put a little bit of John Innan's compost on it to give it that extra little bit of a boost. Um, it doesn't need it, but we just want to max get the best production that we possibly can. We've given it a pretty good spacing, uh, more on the generous side than not. And uh, you can see how they're doing at this stage uh, at the third week in uh, June. Now they're sharing this bed with potatoes. And we had potatoes growing here probably a couple of years ago. Well, last year we had some carrots and beets and uh, the potatoes still managed to hang around. And um, I have no problem with them at all. But what we can do is dig up the potato. And we'll try to do as little disturbance as possible here. And we'll find it, we have a new hole already made for it, right over here. You can see that there's a little baby potato here. I don't know if you can zoom in over here. So these are already kind of ahead of the game. Uh, that's why we figure, why waste it? When you have it growing, it's a shame just to pluck it out. Just transfer it if you need to transfer it. If you can leave it in the same spot, even better. It's just that we don't want any competition for our okra for this particular year. We want to see how they do in, uh, without any, any, any competition. And we're just putting our uh, potatoes over a little bit further over here. We'll give them a little bit of uh, the potato fertilizer. Going around there. Mow in around. Two leaves out there. Big weed is to get the grass out if there's any grass. to the top. Like that. So this is our update on our uh, oka and our potatoes. Um, we'll keep you posted um, on how they do. Just want to make note um, that uh, slugs can be a problem for anything and it's a good idea to keep an area for your own sake um, to keep it free of any uh, weeds or grass and just to have uh, the soil <laughs> and um, um, always bring a helper to help you with the fertilizer put the fertilizer on um, yeah just keep it keep it clean and uh, of, of, of the weeds and you give yourself the best chance and we're gonna end this video don't forget to subscribe if you like our videos <laughs> And um, thank you very much for joining us. God bless. Take care.